film family. In today's video, we're talking about Polaroid cameras. More importantly, how these Polaroid cameras pissed me off. By now you have seen me destroy the Polaroid 600. Originally this was going to be a video of me using the Polaroid 600. I'm calling the 600 by 600 I mean one step, the Polaroid one step. I wanted to just buy a roll of 600 film and then I was going to buy like two or three and then just take some photos around. But when I put the brand new cassette into the Polaroid 600 and fired, all of the images were coming out blank. I have samples here, so here's a couple of them. This one's completely black, so here they are. I took my frustration out on the camera and destroyed it. I was mainly upset because I had just bought a cassette for the one step. It ended up being just a waste of $20. I went ahead and got my $20 worth by destroying it. I ended up just buying this Polaroid Go and then doing the video on this. I ended up shooting 16 Polaroids and you will see all of the 16 images that I was able to produce. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Los dos sabemos que el amor es complicado Ella enamorada aquí a mi lado Un día me ama, el otro no más odiado Pero los dos más caliente que el verano Nuestro amor es real como cristiano A veces blanco y negro como piano Estamos de vuelta a la... ¿Soy un estúpido o soy un estúpido? ¿Dónde no? 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 Estamos de vuelta a la isla culebra, lista para la aventura que nos espera. Yo me puse a esto, veniste por mí. No te explicas bien y tú confundes a mí. What up, film family? If you haven't already, this is a great moment to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and back to the video. No, you're going to have to show you in like five minutes. The whole inspiration to this video uh, or me wanting to shoot the Polaroid 600 is I used to have it in my old apartment. I used to take a Polaroid of every single friend of mine or guest that I had in my apartment. Those were always really fun to take and have and be able to hold and kind of share. I was gifted this book a while ago. I haven't read it all the way through, but I do recommend this book. It talks about the beginning of Polaroid all the way to the revival, so Impossible buying Polaroid. I think one of the people with Impossible is the author of this book, which is Florian Caps. I didn't finish the book all the way, like I said, but in the back of the book, it gives you explanation that he talks about it from the beginning of Polaroid all the way to the revival and it talks about his part in reviving Polaroid. It's a great book. It has a lot of good images. So here's just some quick examples there. I won't go through every single page. Definitely buy the book. I recommend it. So reading through that book, seeing the book and seeing the camera sitting on my shelf, I thought why not go ahead and do this video. <laughs> Quick spoiler alert on the Polaroid Go, it also pissed me off. And if it weren't for the return uh, policy of the store that I bought it from and me being able to return it, it would suffer the same fate as of the Polaroid One Step. I may be being a little bit dramatic, but I'm a, a little upset that the quality on this isn't better for how many years 
Polaroid has been around. Even if the images are smaller than the original, I do believe that the quality should have improved over these 32 years. Not even 32 years, however many years that Polaroid has been around. It hasn't actually slightly less sharper quality than the original Polaroid. And it's just frustrating in my opinion because if you're gonna revive something, if you're gonna come out with something with the brand name Polaroid, you should be able to be on top, be number one. Even if your price is up there, yes, you have the name, you have everything. So make sure that your quality meets it. The technology has advanced so much more these days. I know that there's a, like a one set two or something like that in the Polaroid now. I haven't tried those cameras. I'm sure those are as sharp as the 600 or that had shot on before. I expected a lot more from this and I don't think that I'm too crazy for expecting more out of this Polaroid Go. My opinion on how it could be sharper or it could have better images is from using the 600, which is an older camera, but also from the Fuji Instax. I've never owned a Fuji Instax, but I have friends who own the Fuji Instax and have shown me and shared and even gifted me Fuji Instax photos. And the quality from those Instax Polaroids are a lot sharper than the ones that I was getting from this Polaroid Go. The Polaroid Go trying to compete with the Fuji Instax, it should come out with something better. I know that this is the first version of the Polaroid Go. Again, you're gonna come out, be better than your friendly competition, I guess. I mean, in my opinion, friendly competition. I don't know, they could hate each other. I just expect Polaroid to be better than Fuji Insta cameras. And in my opinion, the Polaroid Go is not better than the Fuji Instax in quality. I do prefer the colors of the Polaroid Go and the square format of the Polaroid Go. Prefer the Polaroid than the kind of hot dog style or a longer style on the Instax or the wider style on the Instax. Definitely square is the way to go. So very cool. I mean, that's what Polaroid's all about. That's like the point is like you have this whole strip, you can take notes, you can write the date, you can sign it. And that's just amazing to me. I mean, like this book says, it's magic. So Polaroids are definitely fun. It's magical how you're able to take the photo, it prints out right away. It does take about 10 minutes to develop, but the fact that you don't have to take it anywhere and you have the photo instantly and they can have it from that moment on. Capture the moment, have the moment, save the moment, and then look back at it in the future. Which was very, felt very cheesy to say, but yes, it is. One thing that I 100% did notice is that when my brother shot with this Polaroid Go, he did end up getting better results. And what I noticed is from looking back at the footage, the video footage, is that he was closer to his subjects when he took these shots, which was like three feet or less. Even the portrait that he took of me and my nephews, he's closer than I was to all the subjects that I took including the photos that I took of Kodak in the beginning. That's where my frustration began. I was I was taking pictures of Kodak and I wanted a cool looking portrait of Kodak. And my first photo was of the cell phone mount when I took that picture. So that kind of, I went off of that. I took that photo and I felt like maybe I was too close. So then I thought, oh, let me back up when I take the other photos. And that's kind of why I ended up getting those type of photos. But so shout out to my brother. He definitely did a better job taking these shots or capturing moments on the Polaroid than I did. So that's definitely a tip if you do end up buying this or if you already own it to shoot from a closer range. And I was holding this and kind of showing this, but another thing that I really like about the Polaroid Go is that it does come with this strap. So it is a cool looking red strap. It's pretty cool. I mean, simple little red tag, drop it. It'll definitely save your camera from falling. So my first top photo, and then again, this was taken. This was taken by my brother. It's a portrait of my nephews and I. I do believe out of all of the 16 Polaroids that I ended up taking with this camera, or that we ended up taking with this camera, this is the sharpest one. And that's another thing is that I was talking to my brother about it. Is that and he was saying that you can scan it and then you can sharpen it. And yes, 100% you can do that. Like if you're gonna publish it or share it online, that's 
dope, but that's not the point of a Polaroid. What you're hoping for is the best quality, best result in that moment, and then that way you can gift it to someone or put it on your fridge or instantly have it. It's not really intended to scan Polaroids and then reprint them or anything like that. That's what's cool about Polaroids is they're one of one. The better the quality you can get from the camera, the better. So my second top photo is of the broken Polaroid. It's the first photo that I took of it broken. Another thing that that's why I'm wishing for a sharpness. I wish that you could read the words Polaroid on there. Again, maybe I could have gone closer and it would be sharper, but it doesn't say that anywhere in the instruction manual or anything that I've seen from anyone using the Polaroid Go. No one says, hey, you have to shoot from three feet or closer for it to be a sharp image. And I'm sure that there is too close as well. So maybe the exact perfect range is three feet. I thought it would be very poetic and very artsy to take it. So my last two top photos are of my nephew Isaiah taken by my brother. What's very special about these is, you know, it's really hard to get a good picture of a toddler. And again, shout out to my brother. He got two really good photos of him. I kind of did end up messing up the one. He has kind of more of a hero pose in it where he looks, but I ended up calling his name just as my brother shot the photo. So he's not looking right at the camera, but it's also really nice. And then the second one, my brother, captured the Polaroid of my nephew when he's spinning on that, I guess, wheel or like two, whatever it is. He's closer than three feet again, snapped that photo. It used the flash, captured it, and they come out really well. These are two really good examples of, of Polaroid pictures. They're definitely something that you can hold on and you, that my brother will probably want to keep for a long time and hopefully share with my nephew once he's older. What up film family, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button for me. If you like film photography and film cameras, you should definitely subscribe to the channel. I post videos like this on a weekly basis, usually on Mondays at 7 a.m. And as always guys, happy shooting.